Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna do a Thresh and Nasus deck guide. Uh, I actually made it to Diamond Two just now with this deck, so yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to use it to climb. I'm sorry if you can hear the car in the background. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna use this to climb to Masters. Uh, probably tomorrow, maybe Saturday. I don't know. Mm. So essentially. There's uh, two ways I've seen of building this deck. Uh, firstly, Kindred, which is I'm not going to talk about, but yeah, that's an alternative. Um, so the first version is the landmark version with Preservarium. Um, you can add Shape Stone as well, Rock Hopper, uh, and then Ancient Preparations for predicting, etc. Uh, I think this is uh, this the this version with Curse Keeper. Pretty much the Endure package is a lot better. So let's get into the deck um, and why that is. Firstly, we have um, the sacrifices. I'm going to talk about them first. Curse Keeper and Fading Icon, as well as Dean Keeper's uh, Sand Soldier that it generates. Um, these are all great um, sacrifice targets for Butcher, Raid of Calling, Glimpse. Valfi season, I guess, and uh, Blight Caretaker, and as well as uh, the Spirit Leech for our draw tool. Uh, yeah, Ray of Calling, this card, it just h helps us get uh, Thresh or Nasus more consistently because Nasus is uh, our main win con in this deck. Dune Keeper, it, it's, it's honestly probably the best one drop I've ever seen. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, Keeper, insane combo. Uh, these are great sacrifice targets. Keeper is the best sacrifice target because you get the escape of abomination. Uh, free four three. It can. This is like a more controlly list, but you can have a lot of aggro draws. This is um, really similar to Ender. Essentially, it's basically Shirima's version of Ender. And the reason why um, this is probably better and it's played more now is not only because Shirima is new, but Nasus is ends up um, with as an endure with spell shield so it's harder to disrupt the atrocity um even though he doesn't have overwhelm yeah so there's that uh fading icon it's a free chump blocker sacrifice target and as well as a 3-1 uh pretty good glimpse uh helps with draw more consistency more nasus you know uh valfies good form of removal as well as gives you a chump blocker you can use it to sack uh, for a slay if you want, but uh, since we don't run Kindred in this list, you rarely do that, unless you like really have to. Black Spear, good form of removal, you're sacrificing a lot, so it's really good in this deck. Uh, I might actually run 3 Black Spear, 1 Vile, uh, but yeah, not sure yet. Caretaker is honestly, it's the nut with uh, Keeper. Not nut, the nut draw on if you're attacking odds. If you're attacking evens, Butcher is technically more nuts because it's like 7 damage on turn 2. But yeah. Um, Spirit. Wait, wait, where are we? Oh. Uh, Red of Negation is pretty much Shurima Deny. Uh, it's like you want to sacrifice your units, so it's great. And if you think. If you think they can disrupt it or you don't want to sacrifice anything on board, you can also give up a, a mana gem and uh, yeah, Shreema Deny. Uh, Spirit Leech, it's it's great. Uh, good draw, you sacrifice something you want to sacrifice, you get a free 4 win body. Auto 3 of in this deck. Thresh, as you know, you're sacrificing a lot and Thresh can also kill units with Challenger. Uh, if people are running Callista, it's good into Callista. It's good into Lucian. Uh, great style line into Lucian. And uh, he, when he pulls Thresh, or like if you have an, or, sorry, when Thresh pulls an Asus, it, especially if you have a second Asus on board, it's like it's insane, dude. Like I don't think your opponent can stop it. Withering Whale. Um, Withering Whale. It's just a great control tool. Uh, s most people actually run three of that I've seen at least, but I think two is a good amount. Atrocity, uh, great win con, uh, it's pretty much 
our main win con, Atrocity Nasus. Uh, I'm debating moving Atrocity up to a 3 of, but don't really have the space for it right now. Uh, yeah, Nasus. So, for those who don't know how he works, um, every time you slay a unit, he gets plus one plus one. You make him big boy Nasus. He's oftentimes like you can make him 20 attack and they can't heal up above 20 right there's no overheal in this game not yet thank god uh so yeah pretty much end the game and vengeance uh it's honestly just shao out staple really good for controlling the board any big units like leviathan coming out watcher etc uh, also, there is this card came in clutch for me in the last game, so yeah. Uh, even if you're not gonna watch the whole video, just just skip to the last game. It's great. Um, okay, uh, so for mulligans, you're going to want to get your early sacrifice targets. Um, if you have double keeper, I would mulligan one unless you have at least one butcher or caretaker in your hand already uh in that case uh just just keep two keepers and the butcher or caretaker uh doing keeper i think i don't think i will ever mulligan this card ever um can't think of a matchup where i would want to so auto keep right of calling if it's a slower matchup uh you could keep it but normally you would want to mulligan it away Glimpse, keeping slower matchups, you'll be able you'll be able to proc it. Um make sure you have a sacrifice target with it though. If not, just mulligan it. Vile feast. If, if there's like a key one one HP target you need to get rid of, keep it. If not, uh toss. Black spear. It honestly if you if there's like a three or uh, more health target, I would keep it. Or if you have a like set hand already, like you have Doom Keeper, Curse Keeper, and a uh, Caretaker, and you have this, uh, just keep the whole hand. Caretaker, uh, keep if you have a sacrifice target and you're attacking on odds. If you're attacking on evens, it's a bit a little more debatable. It could be a bit more awkward, but um, yeah, that's your decision to make. Right of negation, um. Basically, in matchups where they they have like something to disrupt your game plan, like deny, for example, or uh, honestly keep this against Twisted Fate decks if I don't have Black Spear because like in case Twisted Fate levels, because this gets rid of all the Twisted Fate cards at once if they do it all at once. I mean, like yeah. Uh, Spirit Leech. You could maybe keep it if you need the extra draw, but honestly, I find Mull getting it most of the time is okay. Thresh, keep in slower matchups. Uh, you can keep him in aggro if you have, like, for example, if you have a set set early game, you can keep him. Uh, Whale, keep against Azir matchups. Anything with one drops, yeah, yeah. Uh, Atrocity, you can. Definitely keep in super slow matchups where you think you're gonna survive. Because sometimes if you don't draw the atrocity, you, you will you'll just lose. Nasus, again keep in slower matchups. Mulligan aggressive matchups. Vengeance, same thing. Um, so yeah, that's it for the mulligans. Let's get into the games. All right, game one. We're up against Sylvie LeBlanc. Definitely keeping this. You can kind of like try hit a butcher or um blade a caretaker would be better, but yeah, butcher's okay. Alright, we'll see if he has a Doom Keeper as well. Um, or if he's running the Basilisk Rider for you. 
Yeah. I would um butcher this if I had another raider proc keeper at the moment. But I only have a glimpse, which is not great. Uh, I could have done it. But we didn't know we would just draw into caretaker, right? Keep your distance. Yep. Oh, just got a nut out. See what his response is. Okay, I think he just doesn't want me to drag his level along. But this is a lot of damage. Okay. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So we can Fading Icon here. Uh, actually, I prefer not to because I don't want this to get more value by just killing my prey, right? That's fine. And... I could go for the Glimpse here. Ah. Mm. Uh, now we could tank 5, I think. We can uh, threaten a pretty big open. You must know me, little one. You must. Really big open here. And we have Rite of Negation, which is pretty good. And we won our first game. Alright. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Okay, so we're really in, we know how this deck works. Not right? No, probably not. Maybe, actually. Actually, I kind of want Thresh in this matchup. And then we... Although I kind of want right, we I want to fish for a... Uh, butcher, or... It's okay. Butcher or anything else actually. Nice. First day of Zoe turn one. Mm. You can keep it here. I'm debating to just rate of calling right now. So uh we'll see if he spends mana because yeah, I don't want to get single combated. I mean, we have one turn to hit the Butcher or Caretaker. I don't want to risk it. Yeah. And we'll probably draw Nasus off this. Doesn't really matter to me. Okay, this is fine. Good draw. The desert by my side. I mean, open attacking is okay. What can you develop here? Goat? That trades well into this, I guess. I guess goat is the good shit for oh. oh, That's also problematic. Yikes. I mean, I guess we're just passing. We don't really... We're not really gonna... Just waste time by attacking with it, <laughs> I guess. We're not, like, an aggro list, so this is okay. I'm down to whale here. Uh, I mean, he could pale, but... I could save... Hmm. Could save whale for thrash. So he gets the two deaths, but... I think it's just... I think it's fine to do it now. I have nothing else to do with my mana this turn except spear, but nothing really amazing to spear here. So what could he develop? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fine. There's a new card, right? Oh no, it's an old card. Call of the Mountain. I'm stupid. 
Yeah, it was an Aphelios thing. Okay, so... Let's see. We're probably just gonna Thresh next round. Mass is at... 6-6. Six, six. So you can drag this to the front so it life steals first. Uh what's the nuts here? I don't know. What, concerted? Yeah, concerted. But that still doesn't like kill kill him. I mean it does, but we we still get the strike on this. I think that's a waste of a concerted. Yeah, uh, I'm very happy about that. Extremely happy, actually. Because we have second thresh anyway. So we have a couple options this turn. Um, Icon to set up for Caretaker. Okay, wait. I have to calculate this. So if I thresh this turn... I can Icon Blade in next turn, trigger uh, 3 deaths, and then these will drag more, so maybe we can level Thresh. We shall see. Um, I think he wants to Eclipse Dragon next turn anyway. Uh, yeah, you can't really concert it this because his units are weak links. And like. Okay. Yeah. So, we're gonna go through with the plan. We cannot. Hmm. Yeah, I think he wants to Eclipse Dragon, but I don't think he can afford to. Oh. Is amazing because if he, I mean, he could tank nine if he wants. Ooh, concerted. Wow, he can save that here. Crazy. He's still gonna level, because this death is gonna proc at the end of the turn. So, I don't think he can stop it. Maybe like goat combat, if anything. Yeah, he can't stop it. Uh, okay, no eclipse means he can't a soul. Can't a soul. Our Nasus is very big. So we can Nasus now. I think. Nasus now. Ooh, that's pretty. Wait a second. We enter an age of men and gods. Isn't this just we win? Like I don't think he can. Yeah, yeah. No, dude. Let me let me attack. Oh my god. Let me attack. Uh, oh well. Oh, we're almost diamond two. 
And another Zoe deck. Do you keep second bitch? I mean keeper? I don't know. Nah. It was tempting. I think it might have been correct, but Okay, so Zoe swings. Uh, we don't have to develop this. I mean, I will, but we don't. We didn't have to. Frick, what does this do again? I'll look at that later. So we can butcher here. And then open attack. Looks good. Alright. So this open attack looks pretty solid. We don't have a lot to do on this turn anyway. Yeah, we can pass. Passing back is completely fine. So we have Spirit Leech. Can also just Wail here, but he's probably just gonna buff Zoe anyway, right? So... Do I Leech the Butcher? It's probably the best play, sadly. Okay. And then we could thresh next turn. And try to pull the Zoe. Luckily he doesn't it seems he doesn't have Philios, but buff Zoe might be quite annoying. Okay. I'm just gonna thrash next to me. Looks like he's not even proccing. Okay, yeah. I knew he would proc it, because that's why they didn't whale. This I wonder if this is gonna get nerfed. This card's like hmm. pretty insane. Okay. Uh, maybe we should have kept Okay, I think. Keeping the second keeper was correct because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff you can use to proc it. So I'm expecting Crescent Strike if he if he pulled it. Yeah, kind of obvious. Mm -hmm. And swing in. Yep. Luckily, I think if he had a Philios, this would be a lot harder, but he doesn't. Ooh, it's the Scryer variant. So it's probably just Box Puss. That's the only Bilge Water card. Argon's history is in each stone and star. Vengeance. We might. <sighs> Frick, do I just Vengeance this Zoe right now? Kind of have to. I'm a. That was a good draw. Okay, at least the counters reset, right? We don't need to do this. This is pointless. The only thing we would hope. I mean. I don't know why I thought Nasus' uh, spell was Spirit Fire. That would be broken. Uh, so, I mean, he doesn't really have a great attack. I mean, I'm just gonna trade this. Yeah. Okay. 
Can we level Thresh this turn? That's the question. I mean, we can if we want to. <sighs> we could just Nasus, but I don't think it's worth it. We could Caretaker, but we, we're sacking this. is questionable hmm. yeah it's probably just kill Zoe Dude, I feel like caretaker is correct. Can't really justify it though. Hmm. Okay. So he's trying to prevent the Thresh level up. We can just play Nasus with our mana, honestly. Falling Comet. We can uh, prevent this. Do we care about the mana gem? I mean, a little bit. But not, not too much. Do we just pass? Do we draw with the Spirit Leech? I'm so confused. I'm just gonna pass. Ah, simple. Maybe we can level up Thresh now, but there's no point until next turn to level him. We just gave up a mana gem, so... I feel like... He's not gonna kill him. He's not gonna kill the Thresh. No way. Before you level him. We have File Feast on our own unit. Like... Come on. He's gonna try. Nice. Like, this is great. Because we also get a sack target for the sequel to Thresh. Thresh 2. Or we could pray for it. Wait, how much damage are you taking? Did I just Duke Keeper first? I feel like it's Duke Keeper. The Emperor commands the land obey. I mean Sure. So we can block this. Felios can't attack because we can block with the Doom Keeper. Okay. So there's two Thresh, one Nasus, so we have 66% chance to draw with right. Yikes. I kind of just want it. Defensive bladed. There you 
I don't know if I like the 66%. Also, it prevents the Aphelios from attacking. So, we have another sack target for this. I mean, if anything, we can just play Nasus and chill, right? Ooh. Uh, we, we do this, clearly. And then, sure. Alright, moment of truth. Oh, we got it. Alright. Now we just hope, we pray. That's a rough dude. Like, do I just caretaker this Thresh? Like, is he even gonna get to attack next turn? Can I just kill the Aphelios? Like. I think it's kind of worth it. Like Loki. Maybe kill the Boxypus as well. Keep this as a trump blocker. But he phased Graviton. Okay man. We'll kill these two. Can I do anything about a 20 attack Nasus? Oh, it could hush. So you need Nasus to level him before we atrocity him. Oh, this is rough. Wait. 10. How much damage is this? Oh, it doesn't. I mean, we have Whale, but. It's still scary. Yikes. This is a long game. I think I made like a bit of misplaced in this game. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was baiting to atrocity this Aphelios, but uh, there's no way that worked. Fail. I have to glimpse this. Do I have an out here? Huh. It's kind of awkward. I mean, no doubt he seized your dog. My dead hereafter. Mm. Might be dead. I'm pretty dead. Yes, this is death for me. Damn. No, 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 no. Maybe not. Wait, how? Wait, I'm actually confused. Wait, did I do math wrong? Seven plus six plus six is nineteen. Oh! Oh my, he ordered it wrong. Oh my god. Yo, the perks of playing new champs, dude. Yo, if we do this, does Nasus himself. Okay, I was gonna say.
You have to say something else. I think we win. Like, to be honest... Oh. What's that? Oh! Yikes, bro. I'm praying, dude. We need Nasus to live. Oh, thank God. Okay, we have double atrocity next turn. What does this deck have? Double hush? You used one hush. One hush to proc the spell shield, another hush to, to kill me. Oh, or Gravitum. Yikes, dude. Might lose. Like, like we just full to hush, right? No, we just we just full. Dude, he, I think he's looking for it. I think, <laughs> I think he's looking for it. No, I don't really deserve this win anymore. Okay, moment of truth. Does he have hush? <laughs> I'm not even gonna block. It, it's kind of hush or your bus. <gasps> Let's go! Oh, that's such a good game to end on. Uh, such a good game. Alright, guys, so that's all. Um, for the deck, I hope you enjoyed. Deck codes in the description below if you want to try it out yourself. See you next time. See ya.